It's hot up in here. All right, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. All right, we're gonna start off by putting our seat belts on. I've got my favorite coworker in the car here, Miss Mary, and we're gonna show her FSD. As a quick demo drive, we're gonna go to the 7-Eleven. So what I'm gonna do in here is just gonna type 7-Eleven and it should pop up. Oh no, we actually have to type in 7. 11. Uh, actually, let's just do it like this. Navigate to 7-Eleven. All right, there we go. So that's the one we want to go to. All right, so as soon as you um, put your foot on the brake, I'm going to put the car in drive, mm -hmm. and the car is going to start driving for you. And if for any reason you need to take over, all you need to do is tap on the brake, and I'm going to give you a, a chance to feel, feel that out. So then it'll be in control. So let go of the brake, and now the car is going to drive us to 7-Eleven. So let's go. Here we go, so we're gonna do a quick test and what it's gonna do now, it recognizes everything going on. Do I stop it? No, so the car knows that it's an intersection, so it's scanning the road, sees that it's clear, so it's gonna go ahead and continue. So Mary is very skeptical about using any kind of autonomous features, so I wanted to let her experience this. She drives a, a Kia, which I think is an awesome car. She's on. And uh, she's a little skeptical of the autonomous features and I wanted to show you how you are still in control whether or not the car is driving. So now we know 7-Eleven is coming up to the left. See how it indicated for you? Slow down naturally to the stop sign. It's going to make a full stop and it's going to now scan what's going on at the intersection. Let's creep up a little bit to make sure it can get the full view. And now here we go. But I want to show you like the full drive, right? How, how it gets to our destination, what it does when we get there, and then I'm going to have it drive us back to the parking lot. Okay. What do you think so far? It's pretty cool. Interesting, right? Yeah. All right, so if something crazy happened and you felt uncomfortable and you wanted to take over, all you got to do is tap on the brake. You can do it one time so I can show you. Now you're in control. Okay, and now, just like that, the car is back in control. You don't got to do anything. So now let's see. So that's just in case you, you felt like you wanted to take over. Just like that. Another way to take over is you can just grab the steering wheel. And then you're in control. So now we got 7-Eleven coming up to our right here. We're going to let it turn in. And then I'm going to have it navigate us right back to the parking lot. So let's see what it does. I'm surprised you're taking it pretty well. <laughs> I, I thought you might be a little bit more scared to see like what it would do. Um, but okay let's see here now it's getting kind of iffy on what to do so just l l let's see I, I put in an address and it should be able to try to figure out how to get there I think it's gonna try to go up this hill here so it does occasionally ask for a little nudge which is what I did there but l let's see if it can figure this out now so I just kind of threw in oh see now it's saying unable to complete maneuver but l let's let it continue I think it's gonna figure it out there we go, it's got it. I got a little faith in this. This is AI working, right? Yeah. It's, it's scanning the roads, it's trying to figure out what's the best way now to take us back to the job. So I'm, I'm interested to see what it's gonna do now. It's creeping up, it's creeping up. We can actually go either way. Oh, oh. it made a mistake. It's okay, let, let it go. Cause now it's gonna try to fix itself. So, this sometimes happens, right? Um, but now, all right, we're gonna do a quick takeover. Cause look, it ended us into a bank. Okay, so hit tap the brake, and I'm gonna put the car in reverse. Let's hit the brake again. All right, now reverse us out of here, but you can hit the accelerator. Keep going? Yeah, keep going, keep going. Just reverse us out of here, like we're gonna get out of the parking lot. Keep going a little bit. Do I turn it? Yeah, turn it. Like you're driving now. Keep oh, going, I, see, going. I can't. I don't have my glasses on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I don't want to hit this car. You won't. You can back straight up. Back straight up. You won't. You can back straight up. 
All right, so I'm gonna have it now go from here. So let's let's go drive, and now I think it should be able to get it from here. Mm, it sees them. It sees them. There we go. All right, we're good. All right, I know that was a little, <laughs> but it, it saw everything going on. But okay, now we need to get it back back to our parking lot here. So it's gonna go that way, but I won't go it that way. So it can go that way but the navigation thinks that this is the quickest way so it's oh. just gonna go with the navigation because it's not psychic right right so it needs to have a setup so you don't have to it's gonna go when it knows see it has its own lane it decided to go perfectly the same thing here it's gonna indicate right. so it asks you for a slight nudge every time like every few minutes oh. and that's what I keep doing for you so once you get comfortable and that's you in the car, that's all you have to do to drive is just give it a slight nudge. Now, watch how it's gonna scan all of this for us. And just like that. So we did have one takeover in this video. It got confused when I put the address in after the 7-Eleven, it went into the bank, but man, it comes with that. You know, sometimes takeovers happen. But other than that, we're gonna see how it completes the drive now, getting us back to the uh, parking lot. But what do you think about the acceleration? Was that pretty smooth? Yeah. The turn signals yeah, and the way it turns? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Does it feel pretty natural? Yeah. Could you see yourself doing this on like a road trip? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that's when it comes in handy, especially like in traffic and stuff. Like, look at that. Just turn right for you. Now this is the fun part, it's gonna turn back in the parking lot. But once we get in the parking lot, you gotta take over and just park. Cause it'll just go in circles then. Oh, okay. So you can park anywhere, it doesn't matter. But l let it complete the turn and it looks like someone else is turning into our parking lot. So we'll just follow them. And it does a nice job about waiting for the right of way. Do I have to then brake? Nope, nothing. It's I mean when I turn in. So once you're ready to take over, tap the brake, yes. Now you're in control. So now you can just park it there wherever you want. <laughs> want to thank everyone for watching this. This was a real life first time trial using any kind of autonomous features. And to put it in park, it's like that. It's right here. Okay. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did and subscribe for more. Okay. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hello.